Within half an hour of landing, Stephanie becomes anxious when she overhears a worrying admission from her tour guide as they approach the volcano's rim. This never-before-seen footage and audio from her sister's phone is evidence that the tour guides are aware it was getting dangerous. The higher the, um, the level, the more risk there is of an eruption. Level 3 is an eruption. Oh, really? So we're on level 2, nearing level 3 now. So concerned is the guide, he tells them the crater walk is to be cut short because of the imminent risk. I was very wary and cautious as soon as they mentioned it was a level 2. I didn't fully comprehend what a level two meant because I don't really know much about volcanoes in general. But when he said that it had to be a bit quicker than usual, I was thinking, oh, well, that's a little weird. What Stephanie and her family didn't know was that the level two warning had been in place for two weeks, with New Zealand's Volcanic Monitoring Authority noting, White Island may be entering a period where eruptive activity is more likely than normal. Yet, incredibly, neither the cruise ship or the tour company reveal this to prospective visitors before they arrive. 